What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Rich back at it with another video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So for those of you that have been watching my channel, you guys pretty much know who I am at this point. Shopify Joshua made me successful, it made me who I am today, and it's probably the reason why I'm talking to you right now. So for most of the videos on my channel, I not only talk about Shopify Joshua, but I also talk about how to make money online. For this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to challenge myself and see just exactly how fast it would take for me to create a Shopify dropshipping store. So I'm gonna try to create a clean Shopify dropshipping store as fast as I possibly can in hopefully less than 30 minutes. So hopefully I'm about to motivate a lot of you guys watching this so you guys can see exactly how fast and easy it is to get started with Shopify dropshipping. So you guys know that I do not like wasting time, so I'm gonna get straight into it. So without further ado, let's go. All right, y'all, so before I get started, I do wanna outline everything and tell you guys all the tabs I have open so that you're not confused and you understand. The first tab I have open is Shopify, and this is the e-commerce platform. This is how we're gonna create our store, so your dropshipping store will be hosted on Shopify.com. The second tab I have open is Overload. This is the dropshipping app that I'm gonna be using to add products to my store. And later on, as you create your store and you get sales, you're gonna actually use Overload to order those products from AliExpress, which is the next tab I have open. This is where I'm gonna actually get the dropshipping products from this is the big supplier where they have all the Josh and products the next tab I have open is Canva and this is what I'm going to use to create the logo for the store and that is pretty much it and then uh, before I get started I do want to say that Shopify right now is currently offering a 90 day free trial so that's a three month free trial previously their free trial was a 14 day free trial so from two weeks to three months is a big big difference and I highly recommend you guys take advantage of that free trial I have a link in my description but you know it's a win-win situation you literally have three months to make money online and uh, for those of you that do not know um, all you have to do is add your card once you create your account and get in the free trial add your card and if you cancel before the free trial ends so if you cancel on like the 89th day you won't get charged the Shopify membership plan so like I said you have three months to try to make money online from Shopify so I highly recommend you guys take advantage of that and uh, so I'm just gonna create the Shopify account and I'll start the timer as soon as I finish creating the account and we'll see how long it would take for me to create this store. I'm hoping I could do this within 30 minutes. Um, I know for sure I could do it within an hour, but I'm hoping I could do it within 30 minutes. I've never really timed myself and I guess sometimes when I create a store, it feels like it takes like 10 to 15 minutes, but in reality it may take 30 to an hour. So I'm gonna try my best and do this the quickest time as possible. So I'm about to create the account and we'll see. All right, y'all, so I just finished creating the account and for the product that I'm gonna be using for this example, this is the OG product, the product that made me successful in dropshipping and that's strapless bras. So the store for this example is gonna be called the Instant Lift. And without further ado, I'm gonna start this timer right now and let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to apps and I'm gonna download the Overload app and this is gonna make everything super, super easy. So install that real quick. And once the app is installed, I'm then gonna head over to AliExpress. And by the way, I already have the Overload Chrome extension installed, and this allows you to like one click import product. So the extension's right here and it's already installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up strapless bra, and I'm gonna add it to my store. It's a product just like that. The product is already imported to my store. So now I have to head over to Overload to the import list so I can edit the title and then publish it to my store. So the title is gonna be called The Instant Lift Bra. For collection, I'm just gonna put home page. Then for the description, I'm just gonna put something like a uh, Instant instantly enhances your cleavage and perfects your breasts. Our instant 
lift bra is reusable and can be worn over 25 times. I believe it's 50 times, but I'm just gonna put 25 for this example. And that should be straight. Let me just go back to this and put this together. Let's turn lift. And then for variants, uh, this one is probably gonna be a little bit confusing because they have two same models. So they have black, there's two blacks on here. So I'm just gonna see, publish it with the settings right there and then once I publish it, should, uh, <laughs> once I publish it to my store, then I'm gonna make the changes to that. So I'm just gonna change the prices real quick. And I'm gonna put 25. And I'm just gonna put like $40. I used to sell it at $19.95, so over $20, but I'm just gonna put $25 for this example. And I'm gonna head over to images. And this is solid, this is solid. Just make sure it has none of their branding on it. And that should be straight, I guess I could add this one. And then I'm just gonna double check everything and then import to the store. And we're at three minutes, which is pretty good. We're doing pretty good on time. I'm gonna head over to products and it should be adding to the store right now. There it is, beautiful. Now you see how it has this ship from option. I'm just going to remove the ones from China. And this might take a little bit of time because there is a lot of variants, but I do not want a bunch of different options on here. So once that is said, delete these variants. Now it's gonna take a bit of a while to delete the variants. Okay, dope. So after that's done, I'm gonna remove this shift from options. So I don't want the customer to have to choose from ship from. A lot of these products that come in from AliExpress, it automatically has this ship from option. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So let me go to edit options and I'm just gonna hit this trash button from ship from. There we go. Hit save and we officially added the product. And by the way, this is gonna be a one product store. I usually always recommend you guys focus on one product, one niche product and build your store around that. So this is gonna be a one product store. So then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna to go to online store. We're still under five minutes, which is good. And I'm gonna use the free theme, but I'm gonna choose, let's do narrative. Let's do light. So take a bit of time to add to the store. Let me just head to the products page and copy the description. So I can use that to put it on the home page. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, cool. So now that it's as I'm just gonna hit the customize button. And now we're at the theme editor. So this is probably <laughs> the thing that's gonna take the longest time, but I'm trying to get this done super, super fast. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove all this unnecessary content that is included with the theme. So I don't want a video. I'll probably keep the image with the text. I'm gonna remove this section. I don't want two images with the text. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove the gallery. I don't want that custom content, I'm gonna remove that too. Highlight, we don't need that either. Feature slider, we don't need that either. And we don't need this either, so I'm gonna add feature product. There we go. Oops. Uh, this thing's on the side, so let me move this. There we go, so I can select this. But I wanna show this quantity selector. And then let me select the product, select raw. Let's 
solid. So I'm hit the save button. Then I'm gonna head back to the editor and I'm gonna edit this real quick. So for the image, I'm gonna put this on there. Okay, that's solid. And then for the text, I'm just gonna copy and paste the description that I created. Solid. Just instantly put a bolt on that. And then for the button, shop now. And then that's gonna link to the, the product. Solid. Let me hit that save button real quick. And then I'm also going to, I'm gonna put a slideshow in front of this. So if some of this loads, this is gonna be a bit of a headache because I am streaming this, so the connection is gonna be a little bit slower. As you can see, it's taking a long time to load. Way longer than usual. All right, so now that it is done loading, I then am gonna add a section to it. I'm gonna add a slideshow. So let's go over right here, add this section. And I only want one picture, so let me delete this one. And then for this picture, I'm gonna put this one. Let me see how it looks on mobile. Okay, solid. And then I'm going to remove this slide title for the button. I'm gonna have shop now. Then the button link, I'm gonna put the product solid. And then I'm going to put this in the front, the top of the page. So when you first see it, and that looks a little wonky right there, let me get rid of that. Adopt the first slide, now I want a full screen, so that goes in the middle, beautiful. And looking good, looking good. So I'm going to just change the colors. I want pink. Let me just make this quick, pink color code. That. Let me make that a little darker. Yeah, that's it right there. Then I'm gonna make all, I don't like this orange one or whatever color, brown. So I'm gonna change all the colors to this one. Ah, uh, it's about to do this freaking loading. Okay, cool, load it quick that time. Footer, and change that to pink. So I'm removing all the original brown or orange color and replace it with pink. Okay, and then now that everything is straight, I think I'm good with the font. The font looks good enough to me. So I'm not gonna change that. So what I'm gonna do is now that that is set, I'm gonna add or create a logo. We're at 10 minutes right now, I need to speed it up. So I'm gonna go to the logo and then to make that a little bit smaller. Let's do 40. Okay. Then let me download transparent. So super, super quick. Canva is my go-to for creating logos. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to that was a mistake. I guess it didn't come out transparent. So let me try that again. Transparent background. Let me scale it up a little bit too. Download. And hopefully it's transparent this time. Let's see. If it's not transparent, it's tripping right now. So I'm gonna have to work with what I got to save time because we're already at 12 minutes. Crop that. And 
Then I'm gonna go back to the theme. I'm gonna go to section. I'm gonna go to header. For logo, I'm gonna do this. Sixty should be good right there. Solid. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. So it's not transparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this perfect. So I'm gonna uncheck that so that it looks like it's transparent because it's blending in with the white background. I'm gonna hit save. Okay, now that that is done, once this loads, please load quick. I'm already at 13 minutes. Perfect, I'm exit out and I'm gonna hit publish. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm then going to work on a navigation and I'll show you guys what that looks like later on. So let me go to navigation. And since I only have one product, I'm gonna remove this catalog. I'm gonna put the instant. And then I'm going to linked that exact product, apply. And then I'm also going to put, let me just say this real quick, 13 minutes, about to be 14. I'm gonna go to pages and I'm gonna add a track your order page. And what this does is, um, you know, a lot of customers are gonna ask you, you know, how do I track my order and where do I track my order? And this is a really simple solution. There's a lot of apps that do this for you, but it is like a, a snippet of code that you could put in your page and create it yourself so it's 100% free. And so I'm gonna do it at page. I'm gonna name it track your order. Then I'm gonna to go to this show HTML. And then I'm gonna copy this code right here. then paste that, then hit save, solid. And then I'm going to go back to navigations and I'm gonna to go to the main menu and I'm gonna add this to the main navigation on the main menu. Pages, come on, load up. Uh, the connection is slow. Let's see if the pages is there now. There we go. Save that and then I'm gonna go to the footer. I'm gonna also add this to the footer as well. The track your order page. And I'll show you guys what this looks like exactly after this. Pages, track your order, save. 15 minutes. All right, so before I do that, I'm gonna go back to the theme and I'm going to remove the Powered by Shopify button because I never like keeping that. Although it probably doesn't really matter at this point. Everybody uses Shopify. So uh, usually it's in the, the footer, in the sections, the footer.liquid. And then I'll just uh, hit Command F, Powered. And it's this powered by link right here. So I'm gonna delete that. And that right there should remove the power by Shopify. Once that is done, I'm gonna take a look at the store. And as you can see, this is the menu, the instant bra. And right here, if you hit track your order, it's perfect. Customers could enter their tracking number right here, and then it will show up 17track.net, which is how you track like a bunch of the e-packet shipping tracking numbers. So really, really recommend you guys do it this way, as opposed to using an app, So because this is 100% free, and you can do this with all your stores that you have. So, and uh, at the bottom, the power by my Shopify is removed. So the last thing I'm gonna do, 60 minutes, hopefully I can get this done before 20. I'm gonna go to apps and I'm gonna add a review app to the store so that it shows a review. So I'm gonna visit the Shopify app store. Come on, and this is a free app as well. So 
So I need to add this one and I also need to add the Judge Me app. Install app. Then I need to go back and add the Judge Me app as well because it only works with the Judge Me app. Come on, we're at 18 minutes. Come on, install. Once I got this, I'm straight. Like we good, we're done with the store. All right, so I'm gonna choose installation by Judge Me. Start installation. And then I just choose theme, my current life theme. Install. And then this takes a bit of time to show up in the store, but hopefully not too slow so that I can do this real, real soon. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't, it's not going to show unless um, you get the Shopify plan. So I'm not going to get the Shopify plan for this example because I'm not going to monetize and use this store. But for example, you would just do what I just did and then you'll go back to AliExpress reviews just to show you guys how it works. I also show you guys in my YouTube video where I go in depth, like a full Shopify tutorial. So you just go right here and you'll hit import reviews from AliExpress and then you'll just copy. So for example, if this is a product or whatever, if this is a product that has 12,000 orders, you just go right here and copy and paste the AliExpress link. onto this app and then hit, you know, you could hit five stars or more, four stars or more, it doesn't matter. And then you'll just hit this import reviews and then that straight will show reviews on the store. I'll, I'll show you guys exactly how this works in that tutorial video on YouTube. But like I said, this is only gonna work if you choose a plan because um, if you don't choose a plan, your store is gonna be locked and with a password, so it's not gonna be able to work. So this is only gonna work if you get a Shopify plan. So that is a video, you guys. I was able to create a Shopify dropshipping store in under 20 minutes, which is absolutely insane if you think about it from a broader perspective. We live in a day of age where we can have a business idea for a product, create a store within 20 minutes, and then launch it and make money. So that is crazy. A lot of people take it for granted. You know, if we rewind back 10, 20, 30 years from now, things were a lot different. This was basically impossible. I remember the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but when he started Amazon, he had to pay someone like $100,000 to create the Amazon website. And I think it took a, a long time for that to happen as well. Like he paid someone and it took like, you know, months or however long to create his website. In 2020, we could create a website in under 20 minutes for free and use it and make money with it for three months for free. So that is crazy. I highly recommend you guys, if you haven't already, that you get started with Shopify dropshipping. And if you haven't got started, this is probably the best time to get started. Shopify has never had a three month free trial. So you have three months to try to make money. And I have a bunch of free content on my YouTube channel going over Shopify dropshipping. I even have like a full in-depth tutorial on Shopify dropshipping. So, you know, if you watch that video and you learn it, you guys can get pretty much get started just on that video alone. So I highly recommend you guys get started and I've been recommending it for years now. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, before I close out each video, I always give out an inspirational quote. And today's quote is from the legend himself, Muhammad Ali. And he said, don't count the days, make the days count. And until then my friends, be great.